Hi, this is Jason with the Arizona Gun Channel coming at you with another gun review. And this time we're taking a look at the Breda PX4 Storm. And this is the full size in 9mm. So the first thing we're going to do is take a close look at the gun and then we'll talk about the features. So taking a look at the Beretta, so this is the full size of 9mm. They make this in three different calibers. They make it in the 9, the 40, and the 45. And in the 9 and the 40, they also make a subcompact and a compact version. But this is the, the full size, which has a 4-inch barrel and weighs 27 and a half ounces unloaded. This is pretty much my everyday carry. As you can see, if some of the close-up things, this definitely um, has seen some holster wear in, in the finish. I mean, I carry this guy everywhere, but one of my favorite guns and, and the first thing I ever noticed about the Breda just holding in the hand is the ergonomics when you get your hand on there and I'm left-handed but when you get your hand on here it just feels really good in the hand I have much better uh, luck and feel with this gun than most other uh, manufacturers you know some people complain Glocks are blocky I really feel that this gun just fits perfectly in my hand now that's every person is a little bit different but Breda also makes it where they have three different size back straps to kind of help with that depending on how your grip is. They have a small, a medium, and a large, and this is the medium back strap on it. This is a double single action handgun, and what that means is the first pull of the trigger is in double action with a much longer trigger pull. Once the slide kicks back, it'll knock the hammer back, and every additional pull of the, of the trigger will be a much lighter single action. You can see, if you go watch the break of the, the double action, breaks real far away and then the resets right there and then single action much lighter on the trigger pull now some people don't like the double single action uh, if you're used to striker fire guns and then you go from back and forth to this you're definitely gonna have a hard time shooting it uh, most people have success if they stick to one type of handgun and they're not bouncing back and forth uh, I shoot the double single you know almost exclusively so I'm much better than when I fire with a striker fire gun. This also has a safety decocker 
on it. And what that means is if the hammer is back and you have a round in the chamber and you push this lever down, and this is ambidextrous, you push it down, it'll drop the hammer safely without firing around. A lot of people don't like this because it feels really weird dropping the hammer on a loaded chamber, but it does safely drop the hammer and it doesn't hit the firing pin and then the gun is in safe mode and then you flip it back up to be ready to go. But like I said, a lot of people find this to be a little bit of an uneasy thing, especially if you go from guns that are decocker only and then you go to a safety decocker and then just a safety. It's definitely weird to drop that hammer if you're not used to that. Now this handgun has a rotating barrel which is kind of unique to this, uh, this model. It is available on the uh, full size and the compact, but not the subcompact. The subcompact has the, the tilt-up barrel system. But essentially when the slide goes back, the barrel actually rotates. And that's supposed to help with felt recoil as well as keeping the muzzle on target. And I definitely noticed the difference in everybody that's ever shot this handgun. Definitely says it has less kick than most other nines they've shot. Going to the other side, we have the magazine release right here, which you can switch out to the other side if you'd like, as well as we have the, mag the, the slide catch. You slide it back and it catches and then let the slide go, which is really nice. And you, you are supposed to be able to switch this to the other side, which is really nice. And you can see the magazine comes out, comes out really nice, shoots out. Some guns you have to kind of pull it. This definitely just, it falls out really, really easily. And it comes with two 17 round magazines. That's the standard capacity for this. And then it, they also have 20 round magazines as well, which I'll show in a little bit. It just fits in there really, really nice. Take a look at the sight picture. You have nice three dot sights. They are chargeable, so if you have enough light on there, they will glow in the dark for a little bit. Um, they're not night sights. It's a cool feature, but I, if the gun's you know been in your gun safe and you take it out, it's obviously not gonna glow in the dark, but it's cool that they do have that feature available on this guy. It does have a Picatinny rail on it, so you can put a light, a laser, whatever your heart desires on this guy if you choose to do that, which is really cool. And you know, most handguns now have this. It's not really a, a uh, special feature. It's almost expected nowadays. Takedown of this handgun is extremely easy as well. So you'll see right here on this little memory pad where you can put your uh, trigger finger when it's not uh, on the trigger. It's got two little pins. They are on both sides. And basically, you don't even have to pull the slide back like with most you know common handguns or Glocks. You just pull these pins down and you see the slide kind of kick forward, and you can take the slide right off. In here you can just see the internals of the, uh, the handguard, which is really cool. It's got the trigger assembly and all that stuff in there. And then here we have the slide, and this has the rotating barrel system. You have the recoil spring right here. And essentially you just pop this out. You can t separate this as well. And then this piece right here is actually what rides on the barrel part right here that makes the rotating barrel rotate. I'm going to pull this guy out and it basically kicks right, it holds on here and when it pulls back it rotates like that, which is a pretty unique feature. To get everything put back together you're going to put the recoil spring back into this piece right here. You're going to put the barrel back into the slide and you want to make sure that this part right here is sticking up because this is the piece that connects to this piece. I'm going to put it in, line it up, it's going to catch just like that. And then we're just going to line everything up and you're good to go. As I said before, the standard capacity is 17 rounds. You get two 17 round magazines with it. You can also purchase 20 round magazines which look like this, which have an extended base plate which give you that extra uh, three rounds to make it 20, which is pretty cool. And when it fits in the gun, it actually looks like that. So doesn't there's no piece to really put it on there to make it flush like that, but I mean it definitely doesn't look too bad when it comes to extended magazine. It doesn't just stick out, but that's the extended 20 round magazine. Now you can use these in the subcompact. You just can't use the compact in the subcompact. And obviously you can't use the subcompact magazines in, in the uh, the full size because you can't put something smaller in a larger gun. Um, but it kind of works with the full size in the subcompact like Glocks would. Um, they just don't have a larger magazine like the 33 round ones do for like the Glock 26, uh, 17, and 19. So final impressions of this handgun, I absolutely love the PX4 Storm. This is probably my favorite handgun that I have. Like I said, I carry this all the time and it is full size so it is definitely pretty big to carry but I, I do carry this all the time. 
uh, inside the waistband and I also open carry as well. Um, the ergonomics are fantastic. It's one of those things you just have to feel. In all honesty, when it comes to guns, it really is personal preference. You can watch a thousand videos and you can have a thousand people tell you what works and is the best gun on the planet, but it really depends on what you like. This gun works for me as far as the ergonomics are concerned. I love the way it feels. I like the safety and decocker. Uh, I don't really use you know, the safety very often. I don't carry it with the safety. I carry it obviously, you know, ready to go. But some people might like that feature. Some people might not. It also makes the slide a little bit thicker as well when you uh, have that safety decocker on there. But I like that. Um, I prefer double single action. I shoot better. A lot of people are going to, you know, they're going to go to striker fire guns because they shoot striker fire guns better. And if you shoot something all the time, you're going to shoot better than if you go back and forth between a striker fire and a double single action. Um, this does have a Picatinny rail, which is pretty standard on most modern, you know, handguns. And it's pretty cool. You can put a light, you put a laser on it. Uh, I like the sights. The three dot sights are really nice. Definitely a really nice looking sight picture. These can be charged up to glow in the dark, but they're not night sights. And obviously if you're not in the, the light, it's not going to charge up very well. But a really nice gun. I like the rotating barrel system. Uh, I like the feel of the PX4 Storm. And I like that you can get, you know, three different sizes. And you can, you know, even if you get a subcompact, you have that full size feel when it comes to this handgun. Once again, this has been Jason with the Arizona Gun Channel. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.